Hey girls, it's Wednesday and it's Glee Week and Sina did not make a video and Lisa did not make a video. Lisa I think actually made a video but I think she took it down which annoys me because I can't continue the story but I will try, okay? Everything blew up, no one knew why and by everything I mean Rumble Wars office and by no one knew why uh, I mean everyone suspected that it was Benedict Cumberbatch but no one knew but no one uh, really cared because they were all alive and so they relocated to the lake uh, and then naturally Portman was eaten by the giant squid I think that was way more than three sentences but I'm not going to change that um, fine Okay, Glee. I like Glee. I don't think I like it as much as you guys do, but that's okay, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I love Rand Murphy. I specifically love Popular. And so I sort of have to love Glee, I guess, except I don't. Anyway, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful show. I love musicals. Uh, I love how they can sort of help express feelings. I love this sort of overly theatrical, everything sort of plainly written out kind of storytelling, which is pretty much what Glee does. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed at uh, the portrayal of the female characters, because none of them seem to have any real sort of relationships other than the Brittany Santana relationship. Like, they have these kind of weird friends, but they don't really talk together doing much of the show and it annoys me a bit. Um, I also really don't like most of the relationships at all. Like, I, I tolerate them, but I really wish they would stop fucking saying so much on them because I don't really care. Like, I care about Brittany and Santana and Klein, and I care about Kowalski's storyline but I think I've decided he's a douche and maybe one day I'll forgive him but not until I get a story and I also really like Puck and I forgot her name uh, the one with the glasses, the badass so the characters I like are uh, Kurt, Blaine, it's amazing of course I think I think Santana has an interesting storyline that is just waiting to happen and I really want it to happen also Sue, Sue is an amazing character I mean, Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. This week's episode was awesome. I really liked it. Um, Dan Chris is amazing when he's drunk. Well, when he's drunk, Blaine. Because I'm pretty sure he's dapper as drunk Darren. I don't know. Um, yeah. But Darren Chris was so showing his Darren Chris when he was playing drunk Blaine. It was hilarious. And just like the other drunks and the... Britney Santana's sort of weird body shot thing. It was awesome. And also, your face tastes awesome. Drunk Rachel is really awesome when she's not needy. Uh, I'm a bit, like, conflicted about her just sort of stealing her good friend's crush like that. Wow, that was sort of... Oh my god. Yay for Blaine for speaking up for bisexuality. Uh, Nave for Kurt for being like, oh, that this doesn't exist, but yeah, whatever. Um, I... I don't know. Yeah. It was awesome, uh, especially drug scenes. Well, actually not, because like the rest of the episode was so pointless. <laughs> like, I feel like there's drunk scenes and then maybe like Blaine slash Rachel thing was the only thing about the episode that I really cared about. Uh, like, Will trying to teach the Melissa about alcohol, or the principal trying to teach them a lesson about alcohol, no one really listening, them ending up kind of caring, but then again, like, it will be used for comedic effect later on anyway, and I don't really care, yeah. You're my headband. I'd say bye, but I don't want to offend you.